Now, the driver who killed a Gloucester man and seriously injured his teenage daughter last year will spend one year in jail. 41 year old Jeremy Hedrick has a history of driving and drug charges and was originally charged with DUI and involuntary manslaughter. The victim's family claims the reason he got off is why the law needs to change. Montana Durham loved her daddy, and boy, did Troy Durham love her. He instinctively threw out his arm and warned, Hold on, baby, as the car in his rear view careened toward their truck. The driver, Jeremy Hedrick's urine sample, tested positive for marijuana, heroin, and cocaine. Yet, he only got one year for killing Troy and seriously injuring Montana. It's a kick in the stomach um, when you have people who can break and enter and serve more time, who can, you know, hurt a bald eagle, who can kill a dog and serve more time. Widow and mother Michelle Durham is rightfully upset, but not with the Commonwealth attorney who reduced Hedrick's charge or the judge who sentenced him. It's the laws. You know, it's, it's the laws that need to change. Here's why. Court papers show that even though Hedrick's urine tested positive for drugs, a blood test came back negative. An expert would testify that's proof only that Hedrick did drugs in the days leading up to the crash. There's no evidence he was impaired that day. The Commonwealth's attorney was forced to reduce the charge to reckless driving. I could be out there driving 76 miles an hour on the road and get a reckless driving ticket. The reckless driving needs to be... Uh, a harder penalty depending, you know, if there's a death in the situation, if there's maiming, if there's somebody you've hurt. Michelle pledges to do all she can to change the law, but first she has some things to figure out. The, the trial's over, he's convicted, and uh, now it's going on six months, and now it's time to figure out what, what Montana and I's new normal is. Michelle made a passionate speech to the judge during the sentencing. And we put a transcript of what she said on wavy.com. Hedricks did get the maximum penalty for reckless driving that one year in jail, plus a $2,500 fine and six months suspended license once he gets out.